everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com, and in this video, I'm going to show you a preview of the brand new Lightroom Workflow collection from SleekLens called Visual Noir. This collection focuses mainly on cinematic and film looks that you might want to have in your photos. It looks really great, and it's a really large preset collection, so you have unlimited amount of possibilities that you can choose because, again, these are stackable presets, which allows you to diff put different effects on top of each other, giving you an unlimited a possibility of how your photo can look. So I have this particular photo right here, and I'm actually going to apply two different edits to this photo to show you the kind of edits that you can get. So the first one is going to be kind of like a basic edit. I'm going to do a little bit of basic corrections to this photo, enhance it still, but still do a little bit of base corrections. So here we have in this collection, we have the all-in-one presets. These are kind of like a one-click fix to apply a bunch of presets all at once, and then your photo is pretty much done. Uh, but you can also do a little bit of adjustments by yourself, doing the number one base collection. This is kind of like tonal adjustments. We have color corrections down here. We have effects, and we also have a black and white section as well because we have really awesome black and white presets there. So you can uh, you can go up here and kind of play with these here. Uh, but the first one I'm going to do as far as this basic edit goes is I'm going to go down to the number one base section, and I'm going to choose number one base, DR increase highest. And as you can see, it did a little bit of tonal and as you can see, it did a little bit of tonal corrections to the photo. Uh, we have a little bit of shadow detail as well. We have a little bit of highlight detail brought back. Uh, and it just kind of quickly changed the photo, quickly enhanced the photo. Uh, but now I'm going to go and add a little bit of contrast because doing that took away a little bit of contrast. So in this particular photo, I actually want to add a little bit of contrast back. So I'm going to go down to the number one base section again. And I'm going to go to the tone curve high contrast. I'm going to click that one right there. You can see it just creates a little bit of contrast, a little bit dark in the blacks and a little bit of increased in the whites, uh, but still keeps that natural feel. And since this image is kind of like a cooler image uh, as far as uh, the tones in the image, it's kind of a cool feel. I'm actually going to keep that blue tint. So I'm going to go down to the color correction and I'm going to choose blue tone two. And that's all it's going to do is really keep that blue tint in the sky because it looks like a cool photo. You can tell it's been raining, uh, so I just kind of want to keep that feel to the photo. And now to do one quick different effect to this photo to kind of enhance the subject and the background, I'm going to kind of darken this area. And the way you can do that is go to the effects here, and I can say dark bottom. And what that's going to do is darken this area and just kind of creates that really nice cool dark feel to your photo. So this is our before and after of this image. Again, it's not a drastic change, but it makes the photo look a lot better than the original. So now that I've applied that, I'm going to keep this as an edit. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to choose to save this as a snapshot. I'm going to call this number one. But without even resetting the photo, I'm going to keep all of these enhancements and I'm going to actually choose a black and white edit as well. So I'm going to go over here to the Visual Noir again and I'm going to choose the uh, black and white number four Indie. And that's going to darken up the image, make a, make a flat image. It's going to really pump up the whites and the blacks, but kind of flatten the image. Uh, and I, I like the way this looks, but we need to correct a couple things. We want to make sure we can still see some detail over here. And the way I'm going to do that is go up to the number one base section. And I'm going to choose Open Shadows High. And that's going to bring back a little bit of detail. And I kind of like that. I still want to keep the, the darkness feel there. But I, it brings a little bit of detail so I can make out the model, make out some of the background as well. Uh, so now I'm going to get uh, a brush. I'm going to go over here to the brush. I'm going to click New. And now I'm going to find the Visual Noir Add Highlights. And what this is going to allow me to do is paint a little bit of brightness where I want the brightness to be. So obviously on the model, I want to make sure she stands out from the image. So all I'm doing is brightening in this area. I'm not just painting on her. I'm brightening around her. So it just brings out everything around her. So now that we brought out the tones that we want, we brought out the model, now we need to take care of the really bright area of the photo. And that's easily done by going to the number one base section, reduce highlights highest. And as you can see, brings down the highlights. We still have our model. She's still bright. If I wanted to, I can click on that little brush node there, and I can actually take up the exposure as well with the highlights and brighten her up a little bit. But for the most part, she is uh, she stands out from the image, and the image has a really nice kind of indie flat tone to the image. So here we have the number one, which was our kind of base tone. Before and after here looks really, really nice. But we also have a really creative edit done with a black and white image. It looks really nice as well. So you can see... Just using that collection, I was able to get really awesome edits using one particular photo, two different edits, one particular photo looks really great. So if you want to learn more about this Visual Noir collection, head
head on over to sleeklens.com. The link in the description down below will take you there and you can see more information about this collection and you can see all that it has to offer. And we love to see the type of photos that you get from this collection. So thank you for joining me in this video. This has been Jordan from Sleek Lens and I'll see you in the next video.